Ready, go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOP AU's ESN for enforcing open grazing ban in Abia the Nation newspaper. IPOP AU's ESN for enforcing open grazing ban in Abia the Nation newspaper review. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I reach to this news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has praised its security outfit. Eastern Security Network, ESN for the for its dodginess in confronting those it referred to as terrorists masquerading as headsmen on July 22 at Lokpantal Abia State. The group retreated its walls after terrorist masquerading as Edmen to kidnap the to kidnap and destroy lives and farmlands in the area and not pursuing responsible people from carrying out their legitimate businesses. In a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful IPOP warned terrorists against attacking any community in the area, insisting that men would no longer be allowed to do business in the event of an attack on the market. The separatist group maintained that its security outfit has the responsibility to keep its land safe for its people and lawful residents, assuring that it would not renege on such obligation. The statement reads in part, We commend the dodginess of our great security outfit, called the Eastern Security Network, ESN, who confronted the terrorist masquerading as Edsman at Long Pantal on 22 July 2022. We commend the IPOP leadership who has seen what our people are passing through in the end of this terrorist, kidnapping for ransom, raping our mothers in the farms, killing of our men in their farms and snatching cars from all the travelers following the road in Isikwato, Omonaochi, Isuochi and Okigwe since over two years, but the government refused to heed to the crying of the citizens. IPOB ails them for doing the needful at that area. We are not pursuing responsible Fulanis not to do their legitimate business. But we are after those terrorists masquerading as earthmen, kidnapping and destroying our people's lives and farmlands in that area. IPOB and ESN are responsible for the killing of cows, encroaching into people's farmlands. We also want the terrorists not to venture attack on any community in the area as in their nature. If they attack any community, that means Fulani will no longer be allowed to do business again in that market. IPOB advises all men in a legitimate business to ensure they stay within they stay within the designated areas assigned for them in the market. They must not exceed the square meters and measurements given to them in the market. If they do, 
they will have scores to settle with IPOB. IPOB is not a terrorist movement. Our focus is on a peaceful Biafra referendum for citizens for Biafra to decide their fate in the Nigerian project. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has praised its security outfit, Eastern Security Network, ESN, for its dodginess in confronting those it referred to as terrorists masquerading as headsmen on July 22 at Longfata, Abia State. The group reiterated it was after terrorists masquerading as headsmen to kidnap and destroy lives and farmlands in the area and not pursuing responsible people from carrying out their legitimate businesses. In a statement by its media and publicity secretary, a more powerful IPOB warned terrorists against attacking any community in the area. Insisting that men would no longer be allowed to do business in the event of an attack on the market. The separatist group maintained that its security outfit has the responsibility to keep its land safe for its people and lawful residents, assuring that it would not renege on such obligation. The statement reads in part, We commend the dodginess of our great security outfit, called the Eastern Security Network ESN, who confronted the terrorists masquerading as headsmen at Longfanta on 22nd July 2022. We commend the IPOP leadership who has seen what our people are passing through in the ends of this terrorist kidnapping for ransom, raping our mothers in the farms, killing of our men in their farms and snatching cars from all the travelers following the route in Isikwato, Omuneochi, Iswachil and Okigwe since over two years, but the government refused to heed to the crying of the citizens. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what you have.